Hey, welcome back to the series of accountancy chapter 2 accounting for partnership in this video we are learning about a problem regarding profit and loss appropriation account so first i'll read out a problem then we'll try to solve it in an easy way so first of all sachin and pratham commenced business in partnership on 1 4 2015 with their capital of rupees 1 lakh rupees and 80,000 rupees so 1 lakh rupees and 80,000 rupees respectively agreeing to share the profit and loss in the ratio of 3 to 2 for the year ending 31st 3 2016 so this year they earn the profit of 36,000 before allowing the following items so these are all the basic information which is given in the question and the further information is interest on capital 5% for every year they'll charge five percent on the investment so if uh, in this case one lakh and eighty thousands are investment so based on that we'll charge interest on capital next is interest on drawing they're charging interest for the drawing so 600 rupees for sachin and pratham for 1000 rupees so these are the interest on drawings whatever the drawing made by the sachin and pratham for that they are charging interest next is yearly salary of pratham 6000 rupees and this is yearly salary not monthly salary they are not uh, said about anything like 6000 per month they said yearly salary so 6000 for here next is commission to sachin sachin getting commission for a year 4000 rupees every year you'll get 4000 rupees as a commission next their drawings during the year is 16000 and 20000 we should not consider here because they already directly given interest on drawing the amount 600 and 1000 we should not worry about anything here so this is the sum they asked to prepare a profit and loss appropriation account so before starting this problem we look at the format or performer like in the previous classes if you still not watched last video just go and watch the last video in that i will explain about profit and loss appropriation format so here as usual we'll start with a credit side by profit and loss if that is a net profit we'll enter here if you look at this they got 36,000 profit then what should you do you should start entering here so in the credit side first of all write profit and loss appropriation account for the year ending 31st 3 2016 and next is debtor creditors and particular amount after this basic things start with the in the credit side by profit and loss this is the net profit or this is a profit okay 36,000 rupees enter this 36,000 you know where it came from here you're writing 36,000 this is the current year salary I'll rub all I don't want to make a confusion so this is the 36,000 salary we are entering so next in the question we have interest on capital this is paid to the partner so expense for the company that will be written in the debit side okay however we'll try to enter it to interest on capital Sachin and Pratham how you should charge this first of all come back to the problem 5% on what 5% on the capital that is 1 lakh and 80,000 if you come back to the solution you can look at this Sachin has 1 lakh rupees worth of capital or invested 1 lakh rupees for that 5% that will become 5000 rupees for Pratham 80,000 he is invested this year or his investment is 80,000 for that 5% that will become 4000 rupees okay this is the interest on capital which is which partner is getting so that will be if you total it you will get 9000 rupees so next interest on drawing like already we discussed about interest on drawing you just need to post in the credit side that is interest on drawing this is an income for the company that's why we are recording in the credit side if you look at this Sachin has to pay interest on drawing 600 rupees and Pratham has to pay 1000 rupees so here Sachin has to pay 600 rupees and Pratham has to pay 1000 rupees if you total it you will get 1600 rupees so next yearly salary of Pratham 6000 rupees and commission of Sachin is 4000 so Pratham is getting 6000 as a salary first enter the salary so to Pratham salary that is 6000 rupees and to Sachin commission that is 4000 rupees you enter both the items so by now you clear all the item this won't appear because uh, you already entered interest on drawing you should not enter this 16 and 20 thousand this is an drawings made by the partners we should only consider interest on drawing not the drawings so that's it you cleared all the item that should be entered now the final step is to sum it up or total it up 
If you look at this problem, credit side is more 36,000 and 1,600. If you sum it up or if you add it up, 37,600 is the total. And that should be transfer here as well or that should be right here as well. And subtract this from this amount. So 9,000, 6,000, 4,000. If you subtract this from 37,600, you will get 18,600 as an answer or a net profit. Okay. Then the next step is to divide this amount to the partners. For that, you need to write two profit and transfer to the partner's capital account. Okay, the partner's capital account. Next, write Sachin and Pratham. Leave a blank space under Sachin and Pratham because you know to calculate, we need a space. Take this amount 18,600 and into 3 by 5. You may ask where I get this 3 by 5. If you come back to the problem, the set about 3 is to 2. 3 is to 2 is nothing but 3 is to 2 ratio. That ratio can be written as like this 3 by 5. That is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. If you add it up, you will get 5. So out of 5, he has 3 proportion and Pratham has 2 proportion like that. 2 by 5. This is how you need to calculate. So 3 by 5 is the ratio of Sachin and okay, yes, Sachin and I'll change the color. This is Pratham. So Pratham's ratio is 2 by 5 and Sachin ratio is 3 is 2 or 3 by 5. Okay, if you come back to the problem, Sachin 18,600 rupees that is our net profit we got into 3 divided by 5. You know how it came? If you calculate, you will get 11,160 and if you do the same for the Pratham 18,600 into his ratio 2 by 5 that will become 7,440. To verify, you can sum it up that will get 18,600. So I think I will erase this whole thing. So this is how you should calculate the profit and loss of operation account. This is the basic problem which you need to learn. So if you're still not getting how to solve these kind of problems, just make sure you have a good idea about the profit and loss appropriation format. If you don't know what entry will come in the profit and loss appropriation format, it's quite hard to understand here. So I think if you still have less knowledge about this uh, profit and loss appropriation problem, you have to make sure or you have to go to the profit and loss appropriation format and understand it first. So this is a simple problem as usual. Whatever the expenses for the company will be written in the debit side and whatever the income for the company will be written as credit side. If you analyze now, you can get at profits and income for the company. So that will be written in the credit side and the investment on drawing. Drawing is made by the partner. The interest will be given by the partners to the company that will be written in the credit side. So interest on capital is a payment towards partners. So that will be written in the credit side and the Pratham salary. Salary is to an income for the partner but expense for the firm. So that will be written in the debit side and commission is also an expense for the company or the firm that will be written in the debit side and next is profit that should be transferred to the partner that will be written in the debit side so these are all the entries we should consider as a basic problem if you like this video hit like and share with your friends like always see you in the next video bye